IOLINK Data Storage Mode offers rapid sensor configuration and prevents inadvertent changes to settings that can cause operational problems. IOLINK Data Storage Mode is a key feature of IOLINK technology, which allows the IOLINK Master to store and upload IOLINK sensor configurations. With this feature, an IOLINK sensor configuration can be stored in a port on the IOLINK Master. This sensor configuration can then be rapidly uploaded into other identical sensors by simply connecting the sensor to the port. In this video, we will set port 7 to data storage mode on a TBEN-L5-8IOL IOLINK master. With port 7 set to data storage mode, we will be able to rapidly configure BCT IOLINK capacitive sensors. After assembling the hardware and plugging the block into your PC, open Packware. With Packware opened, Right-click on Host PC and select Add Device. In the pop-up window, select BL Service Ethernet, then select OK. Under Host PC, double-click on BL Service Ethernet. Ensure the local area connection the block is connected to is selected. Then select the I search symbol. The part number for the TBEN IOLINK master should now appear under device type. Next, select add device slash DTM to project. Notice the project window will populate with the device in the various IOLINK ports. Let's set port 7 to IOLINK data storage mode. To do this, right click on intern-lx-8IOL and then select parameterization. Select port 7-IOLINK channel 12. Next to operation mode, select IOLINK without validation. Then set data storage mode to activate it. Then click OK. Under host PC, right click on port 7 and then select add device. In the pop-up window, select the product series of the device you are trying to configure. In this case, we are configuring the BCT capacitive sensors. You can then select OK. In the project window, right-click on the product and select Connect. Once again, right-click on the product and select Parameter. The parameter window will open. Here is where we change the IOLINK device configuration. To read the current configuration of the device, select the Read from the Device button. In this example, we will change the BCT capacitive sensor to have a normally closed switch point behavior. To store the sensor configuration into the sensor, select Write to Device. The IO-Link device is now configured, and the sensor configuration is now stored in port 7 on the TBEN IO-Link master. We can now upload the stored sensor configuration to other BCT IOLINK capacitive sensors automatically by connecting each sensor to the IOLINK master port. Thanks for watching.